Hey everybody, Mark Rickert here with Rickert Property Group at Keller Williams Realty. Hope you are doing well. Welcome to this episode of 5 Minute Friday, where I bring you national, local real estate news for the Albuquerque, Rio Rancho, Santa Fe metro areas. Hope all's well. Today is November 15th. Can you believe it? 13 days until Thanksgiving and only 11 days until our fundraiser pie party to benefit the Children's Grief Center, where everyone gets a free pie. More on that later. Hey, before I get started, would you do me a favor? Would you uh, click the like, subscribe button, and leave a comment? I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Jumping into events, events going on in Albuquerque. Today, November 15th, please welcome Ken Jong, comedian, He's Leslie Chow in the Hangover movies, I think Hangover 1, 2, and 3, among other roles like Despicable Me. He'll be performing at the Isleta Resort and Casino. Saturday, November 16th, the 12th Annual Korean Kimchi Festival. Wow. Come enjoy free samples from 10 to 3. Uh, check that out. Google the 12th Annual Korean Kimchi Festival. If you like Korean food, it's going to be the bomb. It's at the Albuquerque Garden Center on Lomas. Saturday, November 23rd from 8 to 10 a.m. This is a great run. The Turkey Trails ADQ did this years back before my knees started going crazy. Uh, but join for the Turkey Trails run. And uh, the timing's perfect. It's a family event. Super fun. You can sign up at the website runsignup.com. Now, we at Rickert Property Group are inviting you to our Children's Grief Center fundraiser pie party. Santa Claus, hot chocolate, food, and guess what? Free pie. You want to come get an apple or a pumpkin pie? Just bring a donation for the Children's Grief Center. Not required, but suggested. <laughs> it's at a secret location, and only you will know by dialing 505 600 3956 to find out an RSVP for our cool event. This is our fourth year. Help kids who have lost a loved one and uh, also come see Santa. All right, Saturday, November 30th at 6 p.m., the Al ABQ Biopark. Um, that is the River of Lights, New Mexico's largest all original holiday light show with nearly 600 sculptures. That's a tradition. Come to that. National real estate news, pending home sales up 1.5% two months in a row. Uh, pending home sales grew in September, making two consecutive months of increases, according to the National Association of Realtors. That is great news for the housing sector in the uh, residential side. Local market stats, you ready for these? The median, this is for October, by the way. Uh, the median detached home price rose 15.5% to 229.9. That's the medium, median. Average days on market, 34 days, and that was 42 last year. So the days on market, much lower. It's a total seller's market out there right now. Absorption rate, the amount of inventory it would, and how many months it would take to sell, 2.2 months versus 3.3 months a year ago. And uh, total number of closed sales for detached homes increased to 2.5% to 1,028. Things are going crazy in Albuquerque, Santa Fe area in terms of residential real estate. Excuse me. Local, com local commercial real estate. Duke City residents will have a new Northeast Height residential option for next fall. These would be apartments. A 135 unit. Building complex next to Legacy Marcana Apartments on Alameda is going up, and this will rent, rents will run from about thirteen hundred dollars, and uh, they're going to put a bunch of quality into these things. You're going to have um, pet grooming facility, bike facilities, and all kinds of other other things like that. They're also building a 180 unit development up in Santa Fe. Also, other other local residential real estate, um, if if someone could uh, say what's the real estate market like in Albuquerque and the New Mexico in general, it would be like, uh, according to the business first, Jekyll and Hyde. And where is the most sought after zip code, red hot housing market? The top on the list is 87048. 
For those that know that, that's in Corrales. Uh, so Corrales is booming. Everybody wants to be in Corrales, and the median value was up 23% for the decade and was nearly three times what the median New Mexico home was worth, according to data provided by the Zillow Group. Uh, so if you bought in that area years back, the payoff has been worth the wait. Among 54 New Mexico housing markets researched by the Business First, that particular neighborhood has just delivered greater than 200% return on investment over the typical buyer. So we're nearing the end here. I like to try to keep it at five minutes if possible. I wanted to thank you for watching Five Minute Friday or listening. And if you ever wonder what your home is worth, please get in touch with me. Email me at mark at rickertpg.com. I will do a free home analysis for you. No strings attached. A lot of people wonder how much is my home worth. I'll do that for you and then you'll know. Um, for investors, Albuquerque is a great place to invest in. Cap rates are, are coming down. They're compressing a bit for sure, but still a great place to rent and buy apartment buildings, mobile home parks and the like. Uh, very stable rental market. So if you are interested in investing in real estate and you live here or live out of state, get in touch with me, mark at rickertpg.com or 505-600-3956 and we can discuss your investment criteria. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and leave a comment. Have a great weekend, everyone. Bye.